How's it going, people? Well, I couldn't wait till bedtime. I want to finish chapter one. So I'm going to put a greater dent into it since I'm moving slow. Bottom of page 10 is where I believe I left off. Such were the signs in the heavens and in the earth which just preceded the destruction of Jerusalem. Several of them are recorded by Tacitus as well as by Josephus. The veracity of Josephus as a historian is probably allowed by all. Uh, Scaliger affirms that he deserves more credit as a writer than all the Greek and Roman historians put together. From the conquest of Jerusalem by Pompey, 60 years before Christ, the Jews repeatedly had exhibited a most rebellious spirit against the Romans. The Jews had basically said to Pilate concerning Christ, If thou let this man go, thou art not a friend of Caesar. But, in fact, but the fact was, they persecuted Christ because he would not erect a temporal throne in opposition to Caesar. Any importer who seemed prepared to do this, they were ready to follow. And were ready to improve every apparent occasion uh, to evince their decided hostility to the Romans. And they barely needed a prophet's eye to discern that this spirit of conduct manifest on all occasions would soon draw against them the Roman sword. Judas, a Golanite, and Sadu, a Pharisee, had rallied the Jews with the idea that their paying tribute to the Romans would not fail to confirm uh, them in the most abject slavery. In consequence of which, their amnesty often burst forth with malignant violence. Uh, tumults and riots increased, and Florus, the Roman governor of Judea, by his cruel exactions, increased this spirit among the Jews. Eliezer, son of the high priest, uh, uh, persuaded the officers of the temple to reject the offerings of foreigners. <sighs> and to withhold public prayers for them. The Roman government felt the insult. And a basis was soon found to be laid for a Roman war. Feuds and contentions increased in Judea till Cestus Callus marched an army thither from Syria to restore order. His march was marked with blood and desolation. The city of Zebulon, Joppa, and other villages in his way he plundered and burned. 8,400 of the inhabitants of the former place he slew. The district of Norbatin he laid waste and slew 2,000 of the Jews in Galilee. Reduced the city of Lydda to ashes. <laughs> hey! I got some canine company here. All right. You're bringing me some firewood. I love it. All right, where was I? Two thousand of the Jews in Galilee reduced the city of Lydda to ashes and drove the Jews who made desperate sallies upon them till he encamped. Dude, 
you're really helping. <laughs> hey, you. Ah, this is really helping. Till he encamped within a hundred miles of the capital, soon after he entered Jerusalem and burned some part of the city. But through the treachery of his own officers, he made an unexpected flight. The enraged Jews pursued him and slew about 60,000 of his men. Many of the rich Jews, alarmed by the Roman invasion, fled from Jerusalem as from a floundering ship. Some suppose many of the Christians now fled to a place called Pella. In the mountains of Judea. Uh, I have a little honeyed wine. It's a uh, honey mead. I've had, I've been Saving us since the holidays. <clears throat> really nice. Kind of like vinegary honey. Mm -hmm. Kind of like a, a hard cider a little bit, but almost more of a melony kind of flavor, like a honeydew or something. Enough of the review there. All right. Nero, being informed of the defeat of Cestus, gave the command to Vespasian to press the war against the rebellious Jews. <laughs> he and his son Titus soon collected an army of 60,000 men. In AD 67, he marched from uh, Ptolemais to Judea marking his ships with ravages wait marking his steps with ravages and desolation infancy and age fell before the furious soldiery all the strong towns of galilee and many of those in judea fell before the victorious arms of vespasian who slew not less than 150,000 inhabitants Signal vengeance was taken on Joppa, which had in part been rebuilt. After it had been by Cestus reduced to ashes. Vespasian was enraged by the frequent piracies of his people. The Jews of this place, fleeing before him, betook themselves to their shipping. But a furious tempest overtook those who stood out to sea, and they were lost. The others were dashed vessels against wait, the others were dashed vessel against vessel or against the rocks. Some in their distress laid violent hands on themselves. Such as reached the shore were slain by the enraged Romans. The sea for some distance was stained with their blood. Forty thousand are said to have been swallowed up by the waves and not one escaped to relate their catastrophe. Truly this was distress of their nation with the sea and the waves thereof roaring uh, okay A little break uh, second paragraph on page 11 uh, 12 have to take this in small doses